So tonight I'm flying to Johannesburg in South Africa with British Airways on board their A380 in Club World. Really looking forward to this flight. I've flown on their A380 before but only in economy so it's going to be cool to see what they're like in Club World and crucially how it compares to the other Club World products on the other aircraft. Now I'm not sure what gate we're actually going to be going from tonight. It's probably going to be a B or C gate so I am going to head to the lounge in the B pier and then take a wander across to the C pier should I need to from there. So let's go and head to Johannesburg with British Airways. But in my experience, the BA lounge here at the B gates is always slightly quieter than the two main lounges over at the A pier. So it does seem really busy here at Heathrow tonight. So I'm gonna take my chance with the B pier. The A380 won't go from A, um, they only go from B and C. But even if you're going from the A pier, you can still come to this lounge and then go back through the walkway back to the A pier once you're done. So as predicted, the lounge here in the B gates is really quiet. Just a handful of people here, it was really packed over on the AP. So if you want to get a bit of a quiet lounge at Heathrow from T5, consider coming over to the B gates, it's really nice. Um, certainly my favourite BA lounge here. Just spoken to the guest services guy here and the Jobo flight tonight is going from the C gate, so I need to give a little bit more time just to walk that last little bit across to C. In the meantime, I'm sat right next to this really nice wine bar. Very conveniently situated. So I'm gonna have a glass of wine while I wait for the flight. Okay, so this trip's turning really into a really stressful trip already. I have been such an idiot and I've left my trolley case on the inbound flight. The lovely, amazing staff here at T5B have just been ringing around everybody trying to find out where this case is. They've managed to eventually get hold of the captain who was on his way to Oslo on the next flight and found out that he'd dropped it off somewhere. They've tracked it all the way through and they've managed to just find it. It's taken them about an hour to figure out where this blooming bag's gone and um, bless them they've managed to get them to bring it, intercept it before it hits lost property and bring it here to the B pier. So at the moment I'm just waiting for that to come. I'm such an idiot. Okay, getting a little bit nervous now. The flight leaves in like literally one hour on the knot on the dock from here, and I've still got to get to Seagates yet um, to meet the flight. So, and the bag hasn't turned up yet. <laughs> Please hurry up. Okay, so update it is on the way. <laughs> They've had to go through security, and they just needed my permission to go through my bag because there was obviously liquids in it that um, they didn't know to take out. So, They've taken it through security, it's airside again, and it's on its way to B case. Oh my god. This is crazy. Before I could get my hands on my bag, it had to go through enhanced security screening as I'd been separated it throughout the airport. Yeah, straight to sea, thank you. It's my last trip of the year, I thought it's going to go really nicely. <laughs> That is absolutely insane. I can't believe I left my suitcase on the blooming plane. Heathrow staff have been incredible. They've literally shuttled this all around the airport for me <laughs> and returned it to me. I had to go through it as security because obviously it's been out of my possession, so I needed to go through it, make sure that um, there's nothing dodgy in there. So I've done all that. Got my bag back. Boarding in about 10 minutes from the sea pier. Right. Train is taking a while to come, so I'm just going to leg it. See if I can make it in time. It's going to be a run. Let's go. It took me about five minutes to run from B pier to C through the underground walkway. Right at C pier, the train still hasn't, the train still not arrived, so I've beat the train. Whew. Right, 
C64. Let's go. Let's just lift him. I literally, so I lost my bag, I left it on the flight on the way in, so they've literally, they've been, they rang the caps in and everything, and so I've managed to get the bag, but I've literally legged it from B to here, I've got it, thank you, thanks so much, I can sleep now, Yes, thank you, thank you, we made it, my seat tonight was on the upper deck of the A380 towards the front in row 52, Hello there, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome back. You're going to go straight across the galley and to the left. Thank you. Hi there. Hiya. Hello, thank you, hi. Hey, Sorry. that's so welcome. Hello. Sorry. No worries, thank you. Yeah, you're right. It's in a 232 configuration, just like Club World downstairs on the 747. I do love the privacy of the window seats in Club World and it's always a novelty being in a rear facing seat. So made it. Before we could go anywhere, we needed to be the ice, which is done at the gate at Heathrow. So I made it on board. They're just doing their de-icing out the window. Standard BA club seat, um, I'll show you more around in a bit. It's basically the same as the club seat on the other aircraft that BA have. We'll be with a bit more storage. We'll be getting underway very shortly, apparently very light load tonight, so very quickly we should be on our way to Johannesburg. With this being an overnight flight I was able to choose how I'd like my breakfast. I opted to get woken up for breakfast as it was a long flight and I should have had enough sleep by then. Dinner was a choice of beef, chicken or tortellini. I opted for the beef but more on that later on. Pushed back a few minutes behind schedule and started our engines. Notice how fast the fog came down. In the few minutes it took to start our engines, visibility was down to just a few meters. Or beside your seat. If required, please remove the jacket from its container and pull it over your. Strangely at the far end of the airport though, the fog had cleared and we lined up on runway 27 left for our departure to South Africa. just watch the fog surrounding Terminal 5. I've never seen fog quite like this at Heathrow before. Our route tonight took us south across France and the Mediterranean, crossing into Algeria. From there we flew over Niger, Chad, the CAR, Congo, Angola and Zambia 
before crossing Botswana and descending into Oar Tambo Airport in Johannesburg. Flight time tonight was 10 hours and 43 minutes at a cruising altitude of 37, 39 and 41,000 feet. service of wine and nuts shortly after takeoff while dinner was being prepared. The seat's pretty decent, it's standard club seat as you'd find on any other BA plane, the exception of the A350 and 177. Um, it's the standard club seat, slide the up thing in between the bottom and the bottom, it slides out, you can do it with your feet, advantages of being tall, feet up there. It does have these really nice bins down the side. missing on the some of the other aircraft the 747 has in upstairs I think but so um, the 777 in the Dreamliner there. Just there there is like audio connectors and things, USB port, headphones, the slide the down thing, a table kind of pops down and slides back and forward. Choice of the seat it goes into a full flat bed. For dinner tonight I opted for the chicken and ham hock terrine for a starter, followed by seared fillet of British beef. Both were delicious and were cooked very nicely. So a couple of hours into the flight now, we're overhead the Mediterranean at the moment, we have just crossed the Balearic Islands, overhead Mallorca, and we're about to cross the coast into Algeria, starting our journey down across Africa. So far the flight is a really good BA, amazing as always, after my ill incident on the ground in Heathrow, just living up to my expectation of them really, they're just amazing every time. This is the 35th flight that I have ever taken with BA and I can't think of a single bad experience that I've had with their crew. Sure, the seat might not be the best leading product in the market, sure, the hard product isn't necessarily fantastic, but the cabin crew make up for it every single time and the ground staff as well, they're just amazing. I put my seat into the bed position and made my bed to get some sleep. So sleep time. Hurricane Ray Connie brought me through a really nice box of single malt. Little night nap before I go to sleep. It's now midnight, by not UK time. We arrive into Joburg at half eight UK time, so we'll see how much sleep we get, hopefully, seven hours or so. And then hopefully I'll get woken up for breakfast. Portland in Johannesburg. Good night. When I woke up, we were overhead Zambia and making good progress towards Johannesburg. So good morning, we're now overhead Angola. Got about six hours of sleep, so not too bad. We'll be landing in a couple of hours into Johannesburg. Looking forward to it. It's that horrible time of day where the cabin is dark, but it's broad daylight outside and we can't look it out because otherwise it's going to stream the cabin full of light. But, um breakfast was served, which was a delicious full English breakfast.
So about 40 minutes left to go of today's flight. Really enjoying it, I have to say. The cabin crew are amazing. Typical BA high standard of service on this flight, as always, really. Looking forward to getting on the ground in Johannesburg. Well, the weather isn't that great by the um, sounds of it. It seems pretty, um, pretty cloudy, but it's like 16 degrees, so still a lot warmer than it was back at home in the UK. Really enjoyed this flight so far. It's been amazing. The cabin crew have been fantastic. The service has been great. The food's been really good. Really comfortable seat as well. It's really what BA do best. It wasn't long before we commenced our descent into Johannesburg. It was a very rainy morning down in Joburg today and we descended through the rain to make what is possibly the smoothest A380 landing that I've ever had. My flight today was the last leg of my return trip from Johannesburg to Manchester and worked out at £584.48 or US$759. Dollars. Total price for my return trip from Johannesburg to Manchester was £1200. Thanks very much. I've got everything. I've got my bag. <laughs> Remembered it this time. That's my channel. So oh, yeah. Watch. I'm definitely going to watch it. <laughs> Thanks uh, very much. Any for your bad help. reviews on my food, I will be very upset. <laughs> it was amazing. Oh, it was really good. good. Thank, <laughs> you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks a lot. See you later. Thank you. Bye. Thanks Thank very you. much. Oh, there you go. My Thank there. you. Nice to meet you. See you later. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Overall, I was absolutely amazed with the service on BA tonight. The help given to get my case back at Heathrow was second to none. And after my flight, I put in a thank you note to BA for the member of staff who went just so above and beyond back in the lounge at Heathrow. So here then at Johannesburg OR Tambo International Airport, great flight down with British Airways on the A380 in Club World, really enjoyed that. Let me know what you think to it down in the comments below. Also, if you haven't done already, wouldn't mind if you could hit that subscribe button, please, really would appreciate that as well. In the meantime, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.